Hey YouTube, this is Ninja Army 36 showing you how to make your very own matrix text. It's not that hard, so don't leave just because you think this is going to be really hard and everything. So, now obviously it's not going to look identical to the movie. That would take a ton of coding and a lot more complicated layers and all that stuff. So, this is just going to be a simple single layer green matrix looking text, okay? So, it'll end up looking, I've already made one myself and made it pretty good and stuff, so here it is. It'll end up looking like that when you're finished with it. Okay. So, and, oh, and I did notice that it goes slower on the screen capture. So when you're looking at it personally, it really goes about twice as fast as what you're watching the video is. So, exit out of that. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a new text document. Name it anything you want. Um, I'm just going to name mine Matrix 2 because I already have one over here. So Now go ahead and open it and type in et echo off. Okay. Now I'll type in color 2. That's telling DOS what color you want the text to be. Now type in colon start then echo space percent sign random percent sign now you want to have that random I've noticed anywhere from like 15 to 20 times so I'm gonna start copying and pasting it really just depends from each OS and really everything so Go ahead and keep copying and pasting. <laughs> I'll do this one or two more times. Paste. Okay, now go ahead and enter and type in go to, no spaces, and then space, start. That's telling it to start all the randoms over again. So. After you're done with all that stuff, go and go to File, Save As, and change the Save As type to All Files. Okay. Then you want to take out that text TXT, um, apple not application extension file extension, and change it to .bat. That's a DOS batch file. Okay. So now you want to go and save it anywhere you want really desktop my documents libraries wherever so go ahead and exit out of your text document and then start up your matrix too just by double clicking it nothing special and there you go now also when to make it look just like mine you need to be able to play around with it some because see how this text didn't lined up here with that one I played around with mine for 10-15 minutes and got the exact number of random quote randoms in there and so it's lined up almost perfect it can't be perfect every single time because different digits take up different amount of spaces so to go back and edit it you can either start over with that matrix text with look, which I exited that out of and then save it. Or right click the matrix dot or two or whatever you named it dot batch file and right click and click on edit. It'll automatically pull it up in notepad. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two or three more randoms. I think that'll be enough. Okay, and I'm going to save that, and let's see what it looks like now. Okay, almost perfect. Needs one more in there, so go ahead and add one more in there. And it really just varies from operating system from operating system to depending on whether it's Windows 7, Windows Vista, XP, whatever. 
and because that'll also depending on the window size of DOS. So add one more random in there, and that's what it turned out to be. So looks pretty good. And also, you can find the colors by typing in run. Then go to CMD, type in CMD, then click OK or press enter. Now, oh whoops, I just made one a little error. I'm going to type CMD there. Okay, don't search run, I'm sorry. Scratch all that. Just search CMD and then those, and then send it to your desktop. Create shortcut. So now it's right there. Now right click it and go to properties and font. No, colors. I'm sorry. And find the color that you like. Like in this case, it would be the matrix. Um, pop out background. Uh, I haven't done that. Okay, screen text. There we go. And it was that one right there. So black. Well, it starts off here, so that's color one, two, three, four, five, etc., etc. So, and the default is white. So, if you want it white, it's automatically going to be white. So, you can. If you just want it white, you don't even need to put that color to there. So, if you want any other color, color one starts at blue. So, I can go and put one in here. And show you what happens. And it's blue. Looks pretty cool, actually. I like the black and the blue contrast. So, whichever color you want, two is closest to the matrix text in the movies. So, that's the one that I'm using. But if you even like, like that line, oh, stupid thing. Dang it! Okay, so if you want like that lime green there, you just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's color ten. So you want to re replace that color two with ten. So go ahead and save that. Close it out. And then, okay, that's not supposed to happen. Or I don't know what I did. But, really just try and stick with the basic green color. I mean, makes sense. So, yeah. Okay, well, that's the end of my video. Sorry for that mess up at the end there. I'm not sure what's wrong. So, just kind of play around with it. You'll get it right playing around with it eventually. I, myself, am going to go back and try and figure out what's going on with it. So, might be me. <laughs> Probably is. So, but thanks for watching, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever, and, uh, well, that's it. See y'all.